a lot of plans evolving since Typhoon Mawar hit our island here, including what's happening here at the Guam Community College campus in Manila. Joining me to talk a little bit about what you can expect and give the latest to the community is the president herself, Dr. Mario Okada Hafede. So first off, talk to me a little bit about how the campus fared in this after the storm. So there is um, some buildings that have um, water damage, and so we're slowly going through and assessing. Uh, we did have some insurance adjusters here uh, yesterday to take some photos of uh, particular buildings and classrooms. Uh, right now we have uh, central operations uh, for the Guam Community College staff is uh, currently housed in building D and C uh, so that we can begin offering services to the public for registration for summer. Mm -hmm. So we've got summer registration ongoing. They can also come in for fall registration. Um, so we've got all of that going on. We've delayed summer, uh, summer classes until July 3rd to give us some time to get back up and running in full force. Uh, but we've really centrally located all of our operations so that it's kind of like a one stop mm -hmm. so the individuals can come in, register for class, pay, access financial aid, get their TV shot if they need it, all in one central location. Nice. Um, so we will launch that starting on Monday um, from 8 to 4. And uh, like I said, centrally located so the individuals that want to come in to register for summer or for fall can come in now and do that. But those students, those potential students as well, returnees, should know that. Things are going to be pretty busy here while the FEMA is assisting those in need of help. Is there anything that they need to maneuver around the so traffic? Because we are going to be physically located in Building D, mm -hmm. we ask them to come in through um, the front gate of the campus where the student support service access is. And uh, they can access uh, the front of the campus in, directly into Building D. Uh, for the services and so mm -hmm. it's easy for us because we've got it all centrally located so they don't have to go through the campus to get through the different components needed to register so that's why we've centrally located it again that's specifically for the GCC community for the students and those looking to register here a one-stop shop of course to make it easier for you to get through during this recovery period Dr. Okada joining me, thank you so much. Anything else the community should know? And just register for the Guam Community College. We also have several boot camps that we're registering folks for. So uh, we have a list of the boot camps ongoing, and if you're interested in one of those, please feel free to meet with our Continuing Education Workforce Development Office and get signed up to access some of the different boot camps for various uh, occupational areas. Truck driving, we have a lot of ship repair coming up um, and continuing on with all the different boot camps. Yeah, those boot camps come at a time that's critical for us, especially Absolutely. as we all rebuild together. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And good luck yeah. to the team. Thank you, sir.